You know how we had that one challenge where we built the best gaming keyboards in the world? There was no clear winner. Well, you know, that's debatable, but it did end in a tie. However, I challenge you to another challenge. Another? I want you to upgrade the cheapest keyboard on Amazon. You know what? I can work with that. I accept your challenge. Everything that you buy needs to be from Amazon. And we have one week to finish oh this challenge. Oh my god, what? One week? Yeah. Here we are once again. The cheapest keyboard is the Mage Gi Sky 68 Wired Ergonomic Mini Office Keyboard for Windows PC Gamer, like me. There's a bunch of colorways, of course, hot swappable. Not everyone has a soldering iron in their closet. Unless you do, then then you do. Good for you. So you got the brown switch, the blue switch, the purple switch, and the red switch. What the heck is a purple switch? So this keyboard is $29.69 and the reviews honestly are spectacular. It's great for the money. This keyboard is a steal. They lube the stabilizers, tape modded it, press and seal mod as well. Somebody watches a certain somebody. <laughs> Amazon has delivered those so quickly. Mage Gi, here we go. You've got purple switches, they're a tactile switch. You've got a little bump and they're not pre-lubed. So these are a little bit pingy. So the rules of the challenge are, honestly, I don't remember them, but I know there was a budget of $50. The keyboard was 30 in total. It's an $80 keyboard. Hey, look at this case. It weighs like a quarter of a pound. I like the two-tone design. The aesthetic is not bad. This looks cool. The stabilizers, they need a little bit of assistance. Speaking of assistance for stabilizers, materials that many people own, such as lubricant, a brush, scissors, whatever common supplies that you do have home, you could use those and not count those towards your budget, especially since you're not actually buying them. Got a little bit ticking right here. Actually, I'm really happy with the appearance of the keyboard that I picked. I think this puts me at a great advantage. Look at that black and white sleekness already. Now it's time to do some shopping. There are not many real stores that offer keyboard supplies, but there is one close by and that is Micro Center, the sponsor of this portion of today's video. Thanks to Micro Center for supporting us and being such a cool store that offers pretty much all the tech that you could possibly want to buy in a real life store. Instead of waiting a couple days for Amazon or another store, Store, you could just go on the highway, drive to Micro Center in 25 or more of their nationwide locations with a new one in Indiana, in Indiana, <laughs> Indianapolis as their newest location. They're going to have two more next year. So be on the lookout for that. All the good stuff that you need to buy to build your own keyboard or mod a keyboard, they have it in the store. But also they've got stuff like Elgato key lights, cameras. They've got all the PC parts you could possibly want. And if you don't want to build it yourself, you can go online and book same day build and you just go there and pick it up. And one of their experts like has built it for you. Now Micro Center has a deal right now for first time customers if you just click on the link in the pinned comment or description down below. Anyways, back to uh, shopping for keyboard parts. Just kidding, we have already done all the shopping, but I don't remember what I bought. So today we'll do a little surprise mystery tech. Boom. And first, we have this. The four pieces set, silicone pad, silencer, foam, sound dampener sheet. That is the wrong size. The mage key has 68 keys. This is compatible with 64 keys. I'm sure we're gonna make it work. Keyboard surgery. Honestly, I'm an expert. The first piece are these huge gaskets. I'm not sure where this is gonna go. Uh, I might just put them wherever, put them everywhere. It's, uh, it'll be gasket mounted. We can pretend. And we also have plate foam that goes in between the plate and PCB. And we've got a sheet of PE foam. And then there's a poron sheet that goes at the bottom of the case. This is gonna be the hero of the show, I'm hoping. Got $38 left, plenty to work with. The next item in the mystery tech appears to be Weird Cat PPT Custom Key dot 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 mechanical keyboard. I hope this matches with the keyboard. <laughs> Are we, is this, pretty, is this pretty? As for the colors, it is very cute. That's all I can say. Look at this, you got a cat escape key, cat heart thing, strange cats, 
space bar. Overall, objectively, the set looks really good. But on top of this keyboard, we're just gonna have to wait and see because that, that is a little questionable. The price for weird cat PVT keycaps is $27.99. What a steal. Which leaves us $10. There is no way the budget was only $50. Next thing we've got Keyboom Epo Maker with stereo switches. They look like a very nice switch. Five pins on the back. Definitely pre lubed. These are nice. 30 pieces, but on a 68 key keyboard. We've got the alphas and the space bar and the modifiers here. Smart, don't have to cover the whole keyboard to win, you know, because when you do a typing test, no one hears the switches that are not the alphas or the space bar. Wisteria, linears, $9.99 for a pack of 30. And we got three cents remaining. Perfectly in the budget. Good job. And uh, I feel like uh, this is not good. I've encountered my first problem of the day and that is the hot swap socket. So if we look at them, they are Odamu hot swap sockets. So they are incompatible with my Wisteria switches. So I'm gonna have to find an alternative. Just have to see if we can actually afford to put it in. You have quite a flimsy plate. This is not an aluminum plate. This is a plastic plate. So that's how they save a lot of money on this keyboard. And then and the PCB, ooh, it's got LEDs. Knowing Hippio, he's probably going to smash some real weird stuff into his keyboard. He does some weird stuff. All right, that is great. Is this enough? I don't think this is winning material. So we're going the extra mile, taking a page out of Hippio's book of techniques. And that page is called Kinetic Sand. Here we go. Kinetic Sand is very easy to work with. Plus this adds a lot of weight and mass into the case. I really like Kinetic Sand. It's so much fun. Next, put this bad boy on top. Now you may be wondering, hey, is that PCB still going to like fit? <laughs> Good question. The answer is yes, if you force it down. So next step is this, although I did not get the right size. So I, I'm gonna cut all this out since this is all wrong. The plate appears a little bit warped, not gonna lie, only because it's plastic, but I think once I get all the screws in and all the switches down, it won't be as warped. This thing now is so heavy. I'm gonna put back in some more switches. Now I know we can't use these. I'm gonna trade them in with something that I have that I know will fit. These are the Wraith pink switches. If you want to win any keyboard competition, you have to go with a Prelude Linear Switch. That is the plan for today. That's 30. By the end of this, you won't even know that this is a Frankenstein budget upgrade. Last final step, our cute cat keycaps. Yes, yes. Yes. The space bar actually sounds good. That is a lifesaver. If that didn't sound good, oh, we were gonna lose so bad. <laughs> These are the original purple switches with no foam. These are the Wraith switches, which are pretty lube. Everything is discombobulated, but it shows promise. And so far it looks pretty good. Boom, look at that. I mean, I can't wait to meet up and see who's the real winner here. So here's the original purple with no foam or anything. Here's with foam. Lube stabilizers. Ooh, buddy, buddy. That's nice. I'm just straight up gonna win. Wow, this thing sounds freaking amazing. All right, let's go meet Hippio. It's been one week, and I sure hope you have your keyboard done. It is, and I'm very, very, very proud of it. Okay, let's do the grand reveal in three, two, one. Ew, oh, it's got a cat on it. It's That's so very cute. cute. You have like Japanese sub -legend. What's the theme of it? You know, you don't know. No idea. <laughs> I'll start, I'll tell you about my keyboard. Um, it doesn't work. Why? <laughs> Why doesn't it work? I did some mods on it, and some of the mods are, are very controversial to say the least. You and mean you can. Your, your press and seal? Is it, is it your press and seal? You can find out about that in my full video. It does look quite respectable, and it does sound 
quite respectable. Well, mine works. And I actually put in a ton of foam that I found on okay. Amazon. It cost okay. a bit more money, but at least it ended up working. Very impressive. And then I replaced the switches, but not all of them because I couldn't afford to. So you spent only... all your money on foam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I only replaced so, the switches that count. Okay, the ones that you hear in a typing test. I should have just put like Morandi switches on my typing test and like the, f the five or whatever. Yeah, Dang just, it. Just do this. So how was the challenge overall? I enjoyed it. I think Amazon actually has a lot of good things nowadays, mm -hmm. whereas it used to not. Yeah, I think there is a lot of potential with Amazon, but there's also a lot of potential to mess up and to spend way more money than you need to. They do offer free returns, so. That's true. As long as you don't wreck it yourself, I don't think they're gonna take this one back. You avoided yeah. warranty? <laughs> I avoided everything. <laughs> like for some reason, like the P key works. That's it? It lights up. Oh, okay, it's got RGB. I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, you're just gonna have to find out in the full video. Okay, I'm curious. Links down I below. Think, links down below. Comment. Now, Betty, yes. the number one thing you're probably wondering is who won. Yes, please tell and me. And I can tell you the results are in. Somebody won with 70 four percent of the votes I, I feel like you're stalling here that somebody probably got lucky or like maybe it was a fluke uh Sounds somebody like hacked excuses. it somebody's a loser you won the challenge yes i knew it doc beats all doc I beats all the official best keyboard upgrader of 2023 you know what you are. Congratulations. Yeah. Everybody go subscribe to Switch and Click on YouTube where she built a better keyboard than me.